Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to find best-selling products on Facebook Marketplace. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data stuff for just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you find the best-selling products here in Facebook Marketplace? So first things first is we need to visit Facebook Marketplace. So in this case, go to facebook.com, log in into your account, and at the left panel here, we have Marketplace. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, when you start browsing through Facebook Marketplace, keep an eye out for shops or personal profiles that look like they're doing well. These are the ones with lots of listings and probably some good engagement, like comments or reactions on their posts. These are your starting points because they've already figured out what to sell. Now, this includes you finding what is your niche. Like, for example, if you're looking to get into the uh, business regard, uh, about t-shirts or if you're getting into uh, technology or gadgets, make sure to search for those specific products. Now, once you've found a promising shop or profile, dive into their listings. Look at how they present their products. Their are, uh, products are photos professional, or do they use stock images? These are, are clues that uh, they might be shipping and which in this case, they're sourcing products from suppliers and selling them without handling inventory directly. Now, just a great tip here that you could do is whenever you actually have an image here that you see, just to see if they're using stock images, you could right click on that image and you could go ahead and click on search image with Google. Now, this will actually search similar images online. And if you see an exact match, then most likely they are using a stock image online. Now, on your phone, you need to scroll at the very bottom of the product listing or shop pages. Facebook suggests rated shopping, uh, shops or products because they want to show you what's popular. This feature is like a cheat, a cheat code. It helps you see what others are selling a lot right now. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start using Facebook Marketplace here on your mobile device if you have or if you have uh, the Facebook app on your mobile device. And from then on, you should be able to see the additional features that Facebook Marketplace actually has to offer. Now. Use the search bar to look for certain brands or types of products you think might be popular. Apply filters to narrow down your results to listings that look like they could be drop shipped or are already selling well. This gives you a shortcut to finding products and have proven demand. Now, typically at the top left here, you have the search marketplace section, which in this case, you could utilize or basically search for different uh, type of products. Now, it is not recommended that you use the best seller here because usually it's going to actually just show products or uh, items here that has the best seller keyword uh, within uh, the Facebook marketplace. Now, it is best that you uh, shoot, shoot, shirt, shirt for the uh, appropriate one. Like For example, I'm going to type in here chairs, just press and enter. And you could go ahead and just start uh, filtering them out. Like for example, the availability, color, material, decor, and uh, as well as the categories here as well. Now, um, to tools like Jungle Scout, which is usually used for Amazon or Zeek Analytics for eBay can be really handy. So they show you what products are hot on those platforms. And sometimes those same products can do really well on Facebook Marketplace too. So using external tools to help you uh, finding products can be proven helpful. So I would suggest you to uh, do your own research what product would be best for you. But what I like to do here is to actually use the uh, following. So Google actually offers a pre product or platform to search for different products and how they are trending right now. So that tool will be Google Trends. Now, the great thing about Google Trends here is they actually allow you to search for a specific keyword here, how popular they are right now, which in turn gives you some idea on what people might tend to buy right now. So just give you an idea, I want to, you want to first go to trends.google.com and that will, this will actually redirect you to your regions or country's current uh, website. So in this case, since I'm in Australia here, it's going to say Australia. So in this case, maybe I'm going to look for chairs. Let's go ahead and click on explore. Now in here, you can go ahead and filter out further. Like for example, if you want to see how a specific keyword here is doing, like for example, in the last seven days here, you could even choose categories, the web searches, or you can even choose 
image search. You could also use the Google Shopping here if you want to, so just to give you an idea on how, how people are actually interested right now. But if you just want to base on web, web searches here, it's also good. So it actually gives you an idea on how or how many people are interested right now. As you can see, we have the trend here, the date, and how they are interested. So the higher the value here, which is 100, is the value. So as you can see, we could see some peaks on it. So in this case, people are really interested on that specific uh, on that time. Now in this case, it should show you the different uh, uh, regions or sub-regions here in its row. So in this case, how much people are interested. Like for example, Northern Territory here is actually quite inter interested in this specific topic here. Now you can even see the topics and rate decrease. So in this case, this tool actually allows you to uh, have an idea on what is popular right now and what people might tend to buy as of this moment. So yeah, that is one of the free tools that you could use here. Now, what are the other things that you need to uh, look out for? So don't forget to peek at big retailer websites like Walmart or Home Depot, or in this case, in Australia, we have Woolworths as well. So we also have Big W. So they often feature what's trending or seasonal items. If grills are front and center, so for example, uh, it might be a grill season or that's a cue for li to list similar items on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, so looking at big brands here can help you, help you uh, have an idea of what's trending right now. So it might be a good thing to ride the wave and see how a product would perform if you're going to ride a wave on a specific uh, retailer's uh, bigger um uh, performance so yeah so it might be a great idea to follow what big companies are doing right now so uh here's a key tip here on a personal facebook profile you can list up to 150 products a day it sounds like a lot but listing more gives you better odds of hitting on something that sells so quantity matters here so it's like casting a wide net to catch the best fish but if you're looking for, like for example, for quality over quantity, then you might need or you might uh, consider using ads. So there are going to be ads that you could use or uh, tools to uh, basically uh, produce or release ads within Facebook or even in other platforms as well. So. Also, Facebook on your phone gives you different features than on your computer. So you can see real-time data about how many items or times a product has been added to someone's cart or even how many have sold recently. It's like having a crystal ball to see what's hot right now. And yeah, so that's about it. Those are the tips that you could do or remember here just to make sure that you succeed on selling products on Facebook Marketplace. So uh, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.